let's have a look at this example together. So we've been asked to derive the Maclaurin series expansion. And so that, when it says derive, it's telling us use the formula. So I've written that out here. Um, even if we weren't told that, looking at the function, it's uh, arc sine or inverse sine of x. And so that's not a standard one. So that's probably one that you're going to have to derive anyway. So the other information we're told is how far to take the expansion. So that's how far I've written out the formula for it. So what we need to do now is in turn we need to find uh, the f of zero, the uh, first differential, and then sub in x equals zero, second differential, sub in x equals zero, and the same for the third. So we'll take them one at a time. So first of all, f of x, we know that the f of x is in uh, arc sine x. So f of zero, we can go straight there, equals arc sine of zero. So this is the inverse function. And so what it's asking us is for what angle do we get a sine ratio of zero? And so sine of zero is zero. So our answer is there's zero. Okay, how about then, uh, first of all, the differential, sorry, the differential of x. To differentiate arc sine x, well, that is a standard differential which you can find in the formula booklet. Uh, you might be asked to prove it, but we will just quote it uh, for now. Uh, and that equals 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared. And so to substitute in 0 into the formula, it's going to be 1 minus 0 is just 1. So it's 1 over the square root of 1. So far, so good. How about the second differential? So first of all, we'll find the second differential for x and then sub in 0. So if we write this as uh, 1 minus x squared to the power of minus a half, we can use the chain rule more easily on it. So we're finding the differential of and so we can multiply by the power multiply by the uh, differential of the bracket so times minus 2x then the bracket stays the same and we reduce the power by 1. So the minus half times the minus 2 cancel out to make 1. So we've got x and that's to the minus power, negative power. So it's below the fraction bar. So we've worked out f dash of x. Now how about f dash, sorry, second derivative of zero. So we're going to substitute zero in here. So we get a denominator will be one. So that's fine. It's a finite value, but the numerator will be zero. So the second derivative of zero is zero. So the values we're after here are 0, 1 and 0. So we just need to find out one more. We want the third derivative of x first of all. Then we'll find the third derivative of 0. And so we're going to differentiate this. differentiating all that. So more than one way we could do this. Um, we can treat it as a quotient and differentiate it using the quotient rule. And so the rule, state the rule, d 
t by dx of u over v equals v times the differential of u minus u times differential of v over v squared. So in our function u is the numerator which is just x. So the differential of that is 1. The denominator is And so the differential equals so times by the power times by the differential of the bracket times by the bracket and uh, reduce the power by one. So the twos cancel out, gives us minus three x. So we can now sub that into our formula. So V times the differential of U. Is just 1 minus X squared to the 3 over 2. Then subtract U times the differential of V. So X times this. So that gives us an X squared. It's going to be minus 3x squared, changes that to a plus, or minus x squared to the power of a half. And then underneath we've got v squared, it's the bracket to the 3 over 2, so if we square it, we to the power of 3. See, we can uh, factorise out a factor of 1 minus x squared to the power of half. That's common to both terms on top and on the bottom. So if we take out 1 minus x squared to the power of a half, what we've got left inside, so that's to the 3 over 2, that's 1 and a half, take out the power of a half, leaves us just with a uh, to the power of 1. So that's just 1 minus x squared. We've taken out this to the power of half, which just leaves plus 3x squared and then on the denominator if we take out a factor of 1 minus x squared to the half leaves us with 3 take away half is 2 and a half so power 5 over 2 they cancel and on the top that leaves 1 plus 2x squared all over our bracket to the 5 over 2 or 2 and a half. So we've got our function. We now want to substitute a value of 0 into it. So it's the third differential of 0. So we substitute 0 into the numerator, gives us 1 into the denominator still gives us 1. So it's just 1. So we're almost there. We've worked out all our coefficients. So these ones in green are what we're interested in. So the first term in our formula is the f of 0, which is 0, so we can ignore that. Then our coefficient of x is going to be 1. So f of x equals that's the coefficient of x, so one lot of x. Then a second derivative uh, of zero is zero. So our x squared term will disappear. Our x cubed term, our third derivative is one. So it's going to be one times x cubed over three factorial. So it's just plus x cubed over 3 factorial, which is 6. And there we have it, our final answer.